in this short video, I wanted to share with you a phone audio clip of a phone call I had with Ken Hoven. We were talking. My son was asking me about uh, the time in the, before the flood, how, what it was like, and uh, he bring, he brings out some pretty neat things in scripture. And he just seems to have a gift pulling things out. But anyway, I was talking with my uh, brother-in-law about it, and uh, we were just talking about the seasons. I began to wonder. You all probably already know this, but um, if there were seasons before the flood, summer, you know, winter, fall, winter, spring, stuff like that, and uh, and I thought, well, if the earth wasn't tilted back on its axis, then maybe there was none. But then my brother-in-law was saying, uh, uh, no, he said the seasons come from just orbiting around the sun, and it always orbited around the sun. So anyway, I got the bright idea. I thought instead of looking it up myself and Googling it and reading through all that, I just asked Ken Hoven because he's very approachable and uh, easy to get a hold of. I, I enjoy talking to him, but uh, here's a phone conversation, and I like some of the things he said. Hello, Brother Hoven. i just calling you back here. You got you got time to talk yes, for... Yes, sir. I'm, go <laughs> I'm going up and down hills. It might go dead. I'll be out of the hills in about five minutes, but go ahead. Go okay. <laughs> we just were curious. You're the only person I really know would have a good, good idea of the pre-flood world. Uh, we were just curious if, if there were seasons... Like summer, winter, spring? I don't think so. The first mention of seasons is Genesis chapter 8, after the flood. Right. Uh, I, I happen to believe, completely without proof, just a theory, <laughs> that the earth was not tilted. It was spinning on its axis perpendicular. That's right. So every day was every day was springtime. Right, okay. All the time. And I, I was talking to my, uh, my brother-in-law about it, and he said, well, do you know that, because I, I believe the same thing. I, I believe it was upright, not, not leaning backwards on its axis. And he said, well, do you realize that's not what causes the seasons? And I got me qu thinking about it, and I thought, well, maybe Ken Hoven would understand that one. Because <laughs> uh, supposedly what causes the seasons. Well, Go ahead. Yeah, the seasons, the seasons are caused by the tilt of the earth. Oh, they are. Okay, okay. Oh, absolutely, yeah. In well, the winter, we're tilted further away from the sun. The North Pole is. Ah. And in the summer, it's tilted toward the sun. Yeah, no, I don't think anybody questions that. The seasons are caused by the uh, by the tilt of the Earth. Oh, okay. I, I, just, I thought it was the orbit it's of the Earth. Over 23 and a half degrees. Ah, yeah, he was explaining something about it being the um, uh, the orbit of the Earth that, it, that the Earth takes around the sun causes the different uh, seasons. Of course, you, you know, that's not going to make well, an orbit. That, that's, that's correct. It's correct because it's tilted in a... <laughs> well, you're hitting the mountain, Brother Hoven. <laughs> it looks like you're getting cut out, so I'll uh, I'll let you go. But uh, if you can still hear me, but uh, God bless you, and uh, we'll, we'll be talking to you later, maybe sometime. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks, sir. Oh, you still there? Oh, there it is. Oh, I got you. I got you back. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So no, it is the tilt of the Earth, but as it goes around in a circle, the our pole, North Pole, spits, keeps pointing toward the North Pole. I'm going to keep pointing toward the North Star. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. So it is the tilt that causes the So my theory would be during the flood when the fountains of the deep broke open, the uh, <clears throat> water came gushing out, blasting rocks off into space and collapsing the ice canopy, right. which would be sucked into the magnetic pole. Right. So probably what is now the magnetic North Pole used to be the real North Pole or somewhere close to that. Right. <clears throat> But that's all. You're right. We'll have to wait and see the movie when we get to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye.